Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of That's All Funny, episode, where are we at? Can you hear me? I can hear myself. Can you hear me? I'm talking to myself. You talking to me? Uh, yeah, no, um, what episode are we on? 754, right? Okay, yeah, I just ate some chicken dumplings. Be all right. I, I drank three V8s today, so that's, like, I, I'm, I'm, I was trying to stay on two like two v8s but i was like nah i need a third one because like the first two hours of work i was like chugging along like barely you know it's it wasn't it wasn't all that i was just i was fucking falling asleep not as bad as like the other day but today i was just like uh and then i'm like i wanted to be friday but i got like schoolwork to do and uh i got other stuff to do so friday's not really my friday blah blah you know fucking I'm fucking gay. I hate myself. I want to die. But whatever. We're here. We're doing it another day. And I'm just here chilling. Like I said, wait. <laughs> I saw just saw my doctor. Now I'm waiting to see my doctor again. So that's that's all I really have to look forward to other than uh, the next Friday, which is another payday. But that payday is already gone uh, to bills. So, you know, we'll see. We'll we'll make it. We always do. We we, we We're always going to make it. Just barely. Just barely. But let's check out the news. There's a lot a lot of news I got randomly here. Uh, this is from at IGN. Green Day has announced Dookie Demastered with each song from their iconic 1994 record coming on an inconvenient format like Game Boy cartridges, 3.15 inch floppy disks, and a Teddy Rups, Ruxpin and more. Fans can enter to win the opportunity to purchase starting today. So it looks like they have Dookie Demastered on, you know, random formats. Uh, there's what? Chiptune Clips. There's a Game Boy. There's um, a Mouth mouth Bass, the, the Billy Mouth Bass or whatever that I guess sings. Big Mouth Bass. A Teddy Ruxpin and three and a half inch floppies or three and a, three and a quarter. I don't know. I guess this is like cool little gimmick, you know, but... I've never been in a Green Day, so I, I'm just like not. I don't really care. I don't care at all. Um, you know, I like maybe a few of their songs. You know, another turning point in the fork stuck in the road. Life grabs you by the wind, gives you where to go. And then a bit of bad stuff does dry. Yeah, maybe that. Um, I'm more pumped for the Halsey, uh, release that's coming out. It's supposed to be a lot of cover songs. I think, and she has like a lot of variant CDs that you could buy that are autographed from different eras, like 80s, 90s, 70s, uh, 2000s, and I wanted to buy them to resell, but I am fucking broke right now, so I'm like, ah, if, if it were a, a like a more sound investment, I would buy them to resell, but I, I don't think um, Halsey's going to make me any money. I really don't. Not At least not quick and as much as... um. I would want to to invest in those uh, to resell. You know, I did buy the vinyls though uh, a while back, and those should be coming in soon. But uh, as far as CDs go, they're signed. That's cool. They have different variants. That's cool. I just I don't see myself like investing in that to resell, and then like you know maybe keeping one of each. But uh, I like Halsey. I just not not that much. You know. Um, and then I don't have that much faith in the resale costs. You know, I did just buy like the uh, two of the Rebecca Black albums signed on vinyl of her most recent album, something about fire. And I th- I was hoping those would sell kind of quick and they haven't. And then I bought some Spotify, uh, no doubt, Tragic Kingdom exclusive vinyls that I haven't sold at all either. And I'm just like, uh, I'm kind of stuck with these. I mean, they're cool. You know, I don't mind having them just like there, but I'm like, uh, I, I wanted to let them make like some good money or, you know, make a profit. I'm, I'm, I'm a piece of shit, you know, I need to make a profit, but whatever, whatever for Green Day, they can do whatever they want. They have enough money, right? Um, here's a tweet here, uh, from discussing film at discussing film. First look at Grand Theft Hamlet, an immersive take on William Shakespeare's Hamlet shot entirely in gta 5 releasing in early 2025 in theaters and on streaming and there's an actual source to it i was looking at the comments and people are like is this real 
And apparently it is that they're going to have an in-game shot movie of the retelling of Hamlet in Grand Theft Auto 5. And I always ask the question to like the scientists of I know I know we're able to do these things, but why do we do these things? You know what I mean? Like for one, Hamlet, I'm I'm not a big fan of Hamlet. I, I prefer maybe Romeo and Juliet or maybe other of Shakespeare's shit, you know. Um I forget what else he's done. He's done a lot of shit, right? But it's a weird choice to do. And then uh it, it's compelling of an idea to shoot a movie in Grand Theft Auto. You, I don't know. I just wonder. And then it's going to be actually put out in theaters and on streaming. I just wonder how that's going to work. If that's actually going to make money. I mean, well, what's the budget though, right? You're just filming it within the game. You know, you got lines of dialogue maybe. So I don't think there's a huge budget for that. Uh, it, it's it's an interesting idea. I just don't know um, wh- what audience it's catering to. You know, but we'll see who knows maybe it'll fucking i mean the joker movie is supposedly bombing like fucking um israel and hasbollah you know so like who knows if uh you know this this will fucking actually make money or actually uh be good right that'd be a surprise it'd be interesting and and it'd help with the argument of video games as art even though i mean that's already fucking uh duh they are you know but whatever what do i know um moving on to other news internet archive data breach exposes more than 31 million user accounts reports so the internet archive a popular digital library known for its wayback machine was hacked and suffered a data breach that reportedly exposed 31 million user accounts um it seems that it has been shut down uh because of a distributed denial of service attack against the library uh so now it's crashed and they don't know when it's going to come back this kind of sucks because i do like the internet archive um they do have a lot of like older shit that you might want to watch i watch a lot of the free domain movies that like uh i i just watched um frankenstein on there i watched night of the living dead on there no did i no maybe i watched that on tubi uh i watched dracula on there like there's a lot of shit you could watch on there that you can't find anywhere else. And so I hope it does come back because it does, um, you know, serve a purpose in the uh, Internet community for keeping history there and archiving it, of course. And uh, it's a good thing. And uh, it sucks that someone out there would want to fuck with it. You know, I, I get it. You know, there's enemies of every fucking thing, <clears throat> you know, who knows? Right. But. That sucks. I don't think I was compromised. I never signed up for an account, but who knows? Maybe my cookies were there. They took that shit, and now they know uh, what, kind of, what kind of feet Japanese porn I'm into, right? Maybe. I don't know, but hopefully uh, it comes back. Uh, here's my praying for it, you know? That's me praying for it. I'm praying for it, yeah. Um, <clears throat> a solar storm could bring northern lights and power concerns in the U.S., uh, an eruption of particles from the sun collided with Earth on Thursday morning. The Space Weather Prediction Center, part of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, reported that the solar particles, which were ejected on Tuesday evening, arrived at 11.15 a.m. Eastern Time, traveling at nearly 1.5 million miles per hour. Um, the center warned the particles could generate strong geomagnetic storms on Earth that could damage satellites, mangle GPS signals, and cause blackouts. They can also create brilliant auroras and night skies closer to the equator than usual. So even though we got to already deal with fucking hurricane storms, like water storms, because Florida's getting hit pretty bad. Apparently North Carolina's getting hit pretty bad to where they're there like trying to get kick streaming deals and they can't because they're trying to survive the hurricane. Uh, fucking stupid shit. Stupid shit. People are just fucking retired. Retired as fuck, dude, but not only do we have to worry about water, you know, but we have to worry about the sun storms fucking with us too. Like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> like, why can't we use one to combat the other, you know? But uh, I don't know. Whatever, right? I don't know enough about weather. I don't think even weathermen know enough about weather when they're like, oh, yeah, there's a 90% chance that'll happen. It doesn't happen. Well, 
I told you there was a 10% chance it couldn't happen. So uh, there you go. Mathematics, right? Works out. Uh, but prayers to everyone in the hurricane or in whatever it is. And prayers to people trying to have to deal with the sun and their storms. Because the sun is uh, unbearable. Unbearable. That sun. Oh, boy. He is, he is a hot ball of fire. Next year on the news, new evidence in sex abuse case against Marilyn Manson as charging decision expected soon. Okay, so this article, what I just read as the headline, let's read more into it. Prosecutors are investigating, investigating new leads about accused sex abuser Marilyn Manson as they expect to decide soon on whether the shock rocker will face charges. Okay, so like, is this news? Because it's like, there's new leads, and it'll be soon. Okay, so what are the new leads? We don't know. Well, when will it happen? Well, we don't know. Okay, so there's no news here. I'm just reading about something that might happen, and when it could happen is eventually, you know? So what's what is this news? What why are you do you just hate Marilyn Manson because he looks fucking weird? Like are you are you on the hate train of Marilyn Manson, you know? Yeah, maybe he may be a fucking creep, you know? Maybe he may be into weird shit, you know? But this article tells me nothing about what's going on. It just tells me there's new things and they might be coming out soon. Nothing at all. That's fucking great, right? That's fucking great nothing tells me nothing at all nothing at all nothing at all uh smoke another cigarette um yeah anyway moving on <laughs> next here to the last story we have here middleborough student appeals free speech t-shirt case to u.s supreme court what to know so uh, Liam Morrison, a Middleborough student who unsuccessfully sued the town for allegedly violating his First Amendment right to free speech, is appealing his two genders T-shirt to the U.S. Supreme Court. In the spring of 2023, Morrison wore a T-shirt to Nichols Middle School that read, quote, there are only two genders, end quote. And his principal sent him home twice after he refused to change the shirt which the principal said made some of his classmates unsafe. The, medical, the, the middle schooler and his family filed a lawsuit against the town, claiming that the school violated his First Amendment right to free speech. This June, more than a year after the incident, the First Circuit Court of Appeals in Boston ruled against Morrison. Uh, now Morrison will appear at the case of LM versus Town of Millsboro to the U.S. Supreme Court. His lawyers announced Wednesday, this case isn't about T-shirts. It's about a public school telling a middle schooler that he isn't allowed to express a view that defers from their own, said David Cortman's near counsel, which is representing Morrison. I don't know about this, because when I was growing up, you couldn't wear a DX shirt that said, suck it. You know, like, I get that there are rules in schools that allow, like, yeah, you have free speech, you have opinions. There's also a, a code of conduct within the school that you know when you sign up for the school you have to kind of abide by and him wearing the shirt is him like blatantly going against it i'm not saying it isn't funny i'm not saying he shouldn't like be allowed to wear this shirt whenever he wants to but within school grounds he's not following the code of conduct and i'm sorry like i don't know like he it's it's against the rules. Those are them. Those are them rules. You got to follow them. You know that's the whole point of like a school. Like that'd be the same of me being employed at like a uh, employer and not being able to wear certain fucking um, t-shirts or something like that. Um, me trying to wear a different shirt on other other than my employer's shirt because that's like the conduct. Like you have to wear a certain way tuck in your shirt blah 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 and um i don't know it, it to me it just sounds like kind of cut and dry but i get the whole angle of uh free speech i really do but this isn't like the school telling them you can't wear that all the time you just can't wear it while you're in school you know what i mean there's a difference uh but i don't know 
what, what do I know? Maybe I, I'm not saying this kid shouldn't get a payday if that's what he's looking for or uh, his rights weren't violated, but there is such thing as school of code of conduct. That's why I can't wear a fuck, fuck the police or um, degeneration X suck a t-shirt where they're both naked on the fucking t-shirt or whatever and get in trouble with it. You know, we've all lived with it. We've all dealt with it. Um, so yeah, I mean, um, I don't know. He, he couldn't, if he's got the time, if he's got the money, fuck it, sue the school, uh, drain those funds from it and see what happens. I mean, uh, maybe you'll, you'll fucking help set a uh, precedent that you, uh, will allow free speech and become a fucking martyr or pioneer of free speech with the, you know, only two genders and your science teachers are there like, like secretly high-fiving you like, nah, bro, I know there's two genders, but you got to like, you know, there's a way you got to do this, you know, but, um, I don't know. All I could say is, um, prayers to, um, Milton and I don't know, prayers to everyone, whatever. And, uh, that's all funny guys, right? I'm not playing the music. That's all funny. I want to thank you for listening to the podcast. That's all funny. If you're the one podcast available, just search That's All Funny. I got a podcast with my buddy Gabe called That's All Kayfabe. We're talking about wrestling. Just search That's All Kayfabe. I got a podcast with the wonderful Mint Salad called Tits and Areolas where we talk about a movie we watch and play a little game. It's fun. She's hot. I'm a piece of shit. It's great. It's uh, comedic. It's funny. It's weird. It's wacky. She's great. Uh, that's all. Uh, Tits and Areolas with Mint Salad. Uh, anywhere podcasts are available. All three of these podcasts. Find them anywhere podcasts are available. Just search for them. If you want to watch video versions of them, check out the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash at Lorenzo Ariola. Got video versions of all three of those shows there, as well as other stuff. Um, if you want to help um, give to the show, check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash at, uh, I'm sorry, patreon.com slash Lorenzo Ariola. Five dollars a month to see everything bonus episodes, early episodes, deleted episodes, ad free episodes. If you want to give to the do- donation links, they're there to the right. They help keep the show going. Uh, appreciate anyone who subscribed to the Patreon. Appreciate all the people who like, subscribe, share the episodes. They're on Twitter at Lorenzo Ariola on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Prayers to everyone. Like, subscribe, share. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.